I'd say I'd be able to relax on this Sunday, but it snowed last night, so I have to go shovel. But then I'm going to go get myself some breakfast and then I can relax. Hey everybody, today is Sunday. Yeah, that's right. Today's a nice Sunday morning, and even though it's cold and it's snowed, I still say it's a pretty nice looking day out there. Really hope everyone's been having a great weekend so far. And I gotta say, this weekend's been pretty relaxing overall for me. I mean, yeah, there's still some stuff I normally have to do, but I don't mind it. Anyone ever notice, like, when it's something that you don't want to do? Well, this is what I've noticed. When it's something I don't want to do, I feel like if I have to do it all, I'd rather do it during the week than the weekend. But that's just me. In the end, as long as I get it done, then it doesn't matter. I guess that is always one flaw I've had, though, because I guess growing up, whenever I had, like, work to do or even in school, whenever we had, like, you know, projects to do and, like, students would be working and talking at the same time, I was so focused on trying to get done so I could enjoy myself later that I didn't talk to anyone then. So, I guess there's that. I guess it's sort of a blessing and a curse. I mean, it's a blessing because I event I obviously did get my work done before everyone else and I was able to enjoy myself a little better. But at the same time, some people don't really find that... I mean, I wouldn't say attractive. That's not really the right word for it. They didn't... They didn't feel it was apropos, for whatever reason. Which I guess is fine, each their own. And plus, we were all able to enjoy ourselves when our work was done anyway, so... I guess there's that. Let's see what else. Hmm. What else is there? You know, honestly, I haven't mean to talk about one thing in particular. Something that, uh, something that I actually grew up with, and it's something that pretty much everyone else grew up with, too, and that is Disney. I love Disney. I love Disney to death, even though everyone, even though it's a giant corporation that buys everything and is inherently evil for whatever reason, I still love it. No, I love their animated canon. Well, most of their animated canon. Well, most of their animated canon I love unconditionally. There are a few things that are obviously really bad, but hey, it took Disney. Oh, as a company, it took Disney over, like, what, fifty to seventy years to get to where they are now. Of course, they've made mistakes along the way. That happens. You can't ask for perfection in the span of, you know, overnight. Remember, Rome was not built in a day. Oh, actually, yes it was, because Chuck Norris built Rome in a day. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've heard that Chuck Norris joke. Anyway, so yeah, I love their animated canon. Of course, I love their music. Okay, fine, I'll say it. Let it go is so totes my jam. Although, admittedly, I don't listen to it, like, on blast repeatedly, like, 24 hours a day like some people do. But, you know, I still love it. I mean, you know what? I guess you can, you know what? Someone see if this is a thing. I want to make sure, I want to know if someone, someone says this is a thing. I consider myself a brosen, a male fan of Frozen. A brosen, if you will. Yeah, I wonder if that's been invented. If that hasn't been invented yet, let's make that a thing. Can we please make that a thing? I would love to make that a thing. That'd be awesome. A brosen. That'd be sweet. I think it's technically better than being called a brony. See, a brony is a... For those of you who don't know, a brony is a male fan of the series My Little Pony. I don't identify with that show in any way, shape, or form. So, I'm obviously not, but 
you know, if I ever met any bronies or stuff like that, you know, I would, you know, I, I do respect their culture. I respect what they like. I mean, it's their thing. They like it. It'd be rude for me to say, oh, well, something you like that I don't like is bad. You know, it's, that ain't cool. It's definitely not cool. But anyway, back to Disney. You know, I'm really excited that, you know, Disney bought Fox as well. And, uh, I guess if you're a fan of Don Bluth movies, I guess that technically makes Anastasia a Disney princess. <laughs> Let's see. For those of you who don't know, Don Bluth was an animator for Disney before he won his own. He made movies like The Secret of Nim. He made An American Tale. He made, obviously, he would later do Anastasia and Titan A.E., so, he's done quite a few good, well, he was great in the 80s, and then pretty much all his 90s movies were bad, and then the two th and then like in the late 90s, 2000s, they had, again, Anastasia and Titan A.E., and he kind of dropped out, I won't say he dropped out of the face of the earth, he's still doing stuff. A while ago, he actually did a petition to try and, um... Go fund a, uh, another hand-drawn 2D animated movie, which we haven't had one since Disney came out with Winnie the Pooh, which I don't care how old you are, you should go see that movie. Yes, Winnie the Pooh, the one that came out in 2011, because that's really good. It really is very good. Anyway, so yeah. In a way, it all comes full circle, apparently. <laughs> ah, boy. You know, everyone's joking about how Disney bought Fox and stuff like that, but I'm wondering if Disney's going to really go for it and buy something like Funimation. Yeah, all the, uh... Well, see, for Funimation, for those of you who don't know, are the, um... The people behind the, uh... English dubbing of anime shows like Dragon Ball Z and Yu Yu Hakusho. And One Piece, actually, so... Actually, if Disney bought One Piece, I wouldn't be surprised... Nah, if Disney bought Funimation, that would be interesting. There's a bunch of... I mean... One Piece has been going on forever. And there's a lot of characters in One Piece. And a lot of voiceover actors that work for Disney need work, too, so yeah. That'd be awesome. But, I don't think it'll ever happen. It'd be weird, but it'd be awesome weird. <laughs> anyway. That's about all I have to say right now. I hope the rest of you guys have a fantastic Sunday. I know I will. I get to see some of my family today. I'm actually going to be traveling up to uh, Cuca Lake today. In the middle of February. Hopefully the roads will be a little better then. Yeah, I got some family coming in, and we're all going to get together at my grandfather's on my mother's side, so that'll be really fun. You know, we're going to get together for a little while, and who knows where the rest of the day is going to take me. I guess that's everything I have to say for right now. I hope, again, I hope everyone else has a fantastic Sunday. I'm really glad you guys take the time to watch my videos, and... Believe me, I love taking the time to make them. And remember, if you guys ever want to talk, if you guys ever want to chat, I'll always be here to lend an ear, and I will always have your back. Take care.